gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Please fasten your seatbelts. We are making our final descent into our... This is what you can expect when you visit Hamburg, Germany, B Bavaria. All right, where do I even start? Let's go this way. Where is Hamburg? Hamburg is an old Bavarian city located about one hour from Regensburg and Nuremberg, 45 minutes from the Czech Republic border, and a reasonable commute from U.S. Army garrison Bavaria. Oh, let's see, 25 minutes to Vilsack, 37 minutes to Hohenfels, 42 to Grafenbeer. Hmm. Oh hey, if you're PCS in Germany, there's a pretty good chance that you can live here. Especially if you're going to Vilsack. What does this place have to offer? Follow me and find out. The first thing you'll notice in this preserved medieval town is the fortified wall that surrounds the entire city center. There's actually several gates that give you this castle-like entrance into the old town, and that's where most of the first look tour will take place in this video. Let's talk about attractions. No matter if you're walking, driving, or even flying, there's two buildings in this city that you cannot miss. And those are the Basilica of St. Martin and the Town Hall of Amberg, AKA the Rathaus. It seems like there's always something going on right in between these two buildings, the heart of the city. For example, in the winter, this is where you'll find the Christmas market. So we're talking wooden stalls, crafts, sweet treats, glue vine, events and entertainment, horse and carriage rides, and pro tip, Amberg actually has two Christmas markets. You see that church way up there on the hill? This is also a big event area. They have a special two-day forest Christmas market up there. Undan. Don't you dare miss out on the annual summer Bergfest, where each local brewery hosts their own beer tent. Speaking of beer, there's a lot of that in this city, including beer gardens that are on pretty much every corner. What? Relax. They're not on every corner, but there are quite a bit, and I'm not complaining, especially if I only have to spend three euro 80 cents for a half liter. That ain't bad. We're gonna talk more about beer in this city, but first, did you know Amberg has the the smallest hotel in the world? Yeah, that's literally what it's called. I gotta check this place out sometime. Speaking of checking things out, I gotta be honest. You know why I keep coming back to this city? The Vils River? Nah. The parks? They do have nice parks here, but no. It's the beer. Now, Amberg is known for all their breweries in this town, so a local friend of mine connected me with one of the most well-known in the city. Let's take a closer look. Servus, ich bin der Lukas und ich bin Brammeister in der Brauerei Winkler in Amberg. Okay, so what I have just learned is that this is kind of like a circle of life here to make beer here in Germany, or in Bavaria, I should say. Beer Brewing 101. This got a little confusing, especially in German, but there are three main ingredients to making beer. Water, hops, and barley. And barley actually can't be fermented into alcohol, so it's converted into malt. Undan. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the malt? The malt. The malt. This, 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 the malt. I have to try it? Yes. What? It's like a uh, muesli. Yes. Yeah. A little bit sweet. A little bit sweet, yeah. Oh, and you also need yeast, so I guess I lied. There's four main ingredients. Lucas is explaining how certain ingredients are brought in from the farmers, then added to the barrels, heated up to certain temperatures, and then mixes with yeast to create that beer taste. And then we went over what's filtered and left over from all this mixing, which are the grains, sprout shells, and insoluble proteins that are then sent back to the farmers for the cows to eat. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So that's what the, uh, the farmers are bringing to the cows? Yes. Okay, and this gets spits out here, yes, in this pipe. Not gonna lie, it took me some time to really understand this whole process. It's waiting here. It's waiting, and then the malt comes down, pumped up here, and yes. pushed back yeah. in here. And then the hops. Then the hops come. Ah, okay, gotcha. All right, all is clear. Did you get all that? <laughs> Lucas, thanks a lot for the uh, tour today. I've got a little surprise for you. Thank this you. is a DTV koozie. Yeah. Okay. So this is to keep your hands uh, warm and to keep the beer cold. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Ciao. <laughs> Just when you thought the tour was over, that's when my local friend took me right down the street to taste the beer, the food, and we met this guy. Servus miteinander, ich bin der Dominik von Winkler Breuwirt und ich freue mich auf euch. Herzlich willkommen in Amberg. Ich weiß, euch gefällt es bei uns. Wir haben einen Maskrug, wir haben Knädel mit Sauce, wir haben die besten Schnitzel in der Stadt. Kommt vorbei, wir sehen sie. Servus. Roast. Yeah, Dominique. Go, my friend. Yeah, Dominique. Like a beer for you. Vielen Dank. <laughs> Cheers. 
Prost. So Jungs, auf geht's. Einmal haben wir Schnitzel mit Kartoffelsalat und einmal Krustenbraten mit Knödel. Very good. Since we're on the food topic, here's some other spots you gotta try out in Hamburg. Cocoon for fine Asian cuisine. Mike's Curry House for the best curry verse you've ever had. Yeah, I said it. If you're still working on your German language, not to worry. Go ahead and select what you want from their picture menu. You can also pick your level of hotness, 1 through 12. I'm a level 4 or 5 guy, but sound off in the comments if you've been bold enough to try the number 12 purgatory. Side note, when you're done eating at Mike's Curry House, go across the street to watch a movie. This is where I catch up on all my Marvel movies. They don't have butter or popcorn, but they do have kettle corn. And yes, they do offer movies in English. However, 40X is only in German, but I don't care. If it's Marvel, I'm here for the ride. Machnix. It's egal. Oh, Weissglut is also not bad. Check out their burgers. They're located right outside the theater. Check out Das Eisenherz for fancy drinks and a cheese wheel pasta. Schlorde, Schl Schlorde also has great local beer, traditional Bavarian food, and a small beer garden. Now, there were a couple food spots in this city that surprised me. First of all, there's a Domino's pizza here. That's a first. Second, there's a Mexican restaurant here. Shout out to my man at Cuca's Cabana, hooking up those authentic Mexican flavors. And third, if you got a little bit of a sweet tooth, check out Killian Shun Chocolates. Located right in the heart of the city, I was pleasantly surprised with how good these chocolates were and how many different flavors they have. All right, so we've got uh, sour cherry, strawberry, peanut, this is blood orange, uh, pineapple. Pineapple, interesting. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Then we've got hazelnut, peanut, raspberry. This is the cherry again. These are all the same nuts again. And then over here we've got marshmallow. Yes. With white chocolate. Yes. Yep. And don't forget about your cakes, your cookies, and anything else that might tickle your fancy in this chocolate shop. Well, that's about all the time we have for today. If you made it this far in the video, you might as well hit that subscribe button. Dramatic transition. And we'll catch you in the next one. Three, two, one.